Roswell Flight Test Crew, here today to take a look at the Moverio BT300 Augmented Reality Glasses, sent to us by the good folks at Epson. Now our friends at b &H Photo have added us to their affiliate program, and when you order from them by clicking on the link in the description below, a small portion of your purchase goes to support the Roswell Flight Test Crew. There's no additional cost to you, but your support makes a world of difference to us. So save the link and share it with your friends. Thanks. The kit comes with these glasses and they are extremely lightweight and comfortable to wear. And the build quality is just excellent. You also get this unit called the controller, which is required for the glasses to function and is connected by this proprietary cable. This carrying case is included. And inside, you'll also find a lens cleaning cloth. The accessories include two snap-on shades with different levels of tint, an extended set of nose pads allowing you to wear the Moverios over a regular pair of glasses, rubber pads that fit into the limbs, making it a little extra snug on your head, as well as an empty pair of frames that you can get custom corrective lenses made for, a wall charger and a USB cable, a pair of headphones, and these adapters which allow you to fit the controller into an old-style DJI radio. There are a couple of optional accessories you can also get, such as these high-speed mirrored shades from Rochester Optical, and these adapters, which fit the controller into a Mavic radio. As far as paperwork goes, included is a quick start guide, a single sheet about using the BT-300s with drones, and some information about custom lenses from Rochester. You can download a full user's guide from the Epson website. Once you've finished unpacking the Moverios, Epson wants you to fully charge the battery before you power it up for the first time. And note that the glasses need to be connected to the controller while charging. The battery is internal and it's not swappable. It takes about five hours to charge the battery and the glasses will run for about six hours on a full charge. The Moverios are an Android OS device, just like a tablet or a smartphone, but with a radically different type of display. These weren't initially developed for use with drones, but rather as an augmented reality solution for professionals and recreational users, a potential competitor to Google Glass. That's why you get these headphones and these nearly opaque shades. They'd be great for watching movies on an airplane. The paperwork that came with this setup indicates that Epson is testing the Moverio's compatibility with the DJI Go 4 app. But when I got them up and running, the app was already installed. I did have to connect to Wi-Fi and download the latest version. The controller incorporates a touchpad, as well as a control wheel with the select button in the middle. You manipulate the touchpad just like the screen on your phone, although a cursor appears in the display, like a mouse pointer on your computer. It was a little awkward at first, but I got used to it. These three buttons allow you to move backwards through the menu, go to the home screen, or bring up your history, just like an Android smartphone. On the left side is the switch button, which is used to control brightness and engage 3D mode. And on the right side is the volume control. Below that, we've got a USB jack and a port for a micro SD card, which is not included. The power button is on the top of the unit. Note the Moverio's BT300 does not have an HDMI input, unlike the earlier version, and there's no way to adapt an HDMI cable to fit. The display is very bright and clear, and although I wear reading glasses, it's perfectly in focus and easy for me to read. This advertising image from Epson really does a good job of capturing what this experience is like. It's a large, transparent monitor hovering about six feet in front of my face. To make the Moverios work with your drone, you hook it up just like you would a tablet or a smartphone, then launch the app. It's the exact same display you'd see on your smart device, except that it's always available to you no matter whichever way you look. These work great here in the studio. Let's take them out in the field and see how they perform. So one feature of the Moverios we didn't get to talk about in the lab is this integrated camera. And in theory, I like it a lot because it captures a view of what you're seeing while you're flying. And if you own a drone company and you're sending people out to fly for you, you can see what they're doing. If you get crosswise with the FAA, you can just submit your view of what happened. That seems like a very powerful tool to me. 
And here, let me record so you guys can get a perspective of what that looks like. Now the problem is, the integrated camera app, which comes installed with the Moverios, won't record in the background. The moment you activate the DJI app, it stops recording. So essentially that doesn't work. And also there are no other apps available in the Moverio store which work any better. Now Epson does allude to the fact that you might be able to sideload an app which would do that for you, but I don't think that's really enough for us to call it a standard feature. So I really hope Epson gets this straightened out soon because this would be a great feature to have online. So in short, it works. You can simultaneously see the aircraft through the glasses and what the aircraft is seeing on the glasses. It's pretty cool. Now one thing I'm noticing is that it can be a little distracting if say you're flying the aircraft towards a stand of trees because you're seeing those trees from the aircraft's perspective overlaid onto the actual trees. Maybe that's something I'll get used to, but I do find myself taking a peek over the top every now and again just to make sure what I'm really looking at. So one thing I'm finding now that we're out here using these in the field is that the shades aren't just for comfort. When I look up into the sky, the image inside the glasses disappears almost completely. It's totally blown out, even on maximum brightness. But when you attach the shades, that reestablishes the balance between the view inside the glasses and what you're seeing outside. So they really are important, even if you don't need them for comfort. And they're a bit of a fashion statement. So that was our look at the Epson Moverio BT300s. Click subscribe to keep up with the latest on drones. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Fly safe.